I think what's crucial about business is understanding what uh, the challenges when they approach PCI are, uh, they, they come very simply. Uh, the hardest thing for business to come to terms with is what data do I have and where do I have it? What credit card, where is the credit card de uh, data in my company? And and that's a, that's a once you find out that, that, that changes the whole landscape of PCI compliance. Uh, so what I strongly recommend is that companies go out and you can get freeware to identify where card data is and, and scan your systems and you can find card data in, in Microsoft uh, Outlook uh, email. You can find it in, uh, uh, in in web servers. You can find it in in uh, scanning uh, uh, the IP uh, address, uh, IP addresses associated with scanning equipment or voice over IP. So once you find it, that's that's it. That's the biggest challenge. Is now you've got a map of where your PCI card data is and all the controls in PCI DSS. The 288 controls that you have to put onto this framework apply to that area. So once you have a map, you can start looking at the map and understand, okay, I've got card data here, here, and here. How can I reduce that scope? Um, to include third-party connections to your uh, to your uh, your infrastructure, because in fact they are subject to PC P PCI DSS compliance as well. So you want to once you've mapped it out, you want to reduce that map and start to understand. All right, if I take these three or four servers out, uh, am I storing card data where I don't need to store it? Okay, it, delete it. You know, start to delete, dump all the hard co hard copy data that you keep. Dump it, dump it. You know, get rid of all the card data that you have. It reduces the scope and the impact and very importantly, the cost of the program to your company. So that's the place to start before you even pick up the 288 controls, map the environment, reduce that map, and then go in and find out, take the 288 controls, and it only applies. But before you do that, think of other options. Can I outsource this? Can I get a payment provider to take this uh, and take it out of my architecture? Then he's responsible for PCI DSS controls. You still have the liability, but he has the, the, the requirement to put the 288 controls, which would greatly reduce reduce the cost to your company for PCI compliance. So can I outsource it? Um, after you've, you've reduced it, then look at what you can outsource, what you can outsource. And if you can't outsource it and you've reduced it, then look at things like point-to-point -point encryption. For when the data comes into the, to, into the network, can you encrypt it all the way to the bank? And if you can, then it takes everything out in scope except that encryption tunnel. And there's specific controls that apply to that. And at the end of the day, there's also things like tokenization. You can find to replace the card data with a to uh, tokenize a surrogate value. And then that also reduces and takes takes it out of scope. So they're very, very simple things that you can do. But first, it, you know, number one, what do I have? Where do I have it? Number two, write that down. Uh, and then number three, de-scope, downsize, reduce that, that card estate as greatly as possible because then only the PCI applies to that. Then see if you can create a segment, a segment network from people who don't need to be attached to your infrastructure. You've reduced it further, and then look at things like encryption, end-to-end -end encryption, and tokenization. And you will take that five-step approach, and you'll greatly reduce the impact and the cost of the program while still becoming compliant. At the end of the day, I strongly, I, my biggest, my strongest message is that you understand if you have a breach, it's your responsibility. So whether that's whether you outsource, make sure that your contractual uh, obligations are clearly stated to the sup to the supplier who's going to take that on. Because if he loses your card data, your name will be in the paper, and you'll face the fine. So don't think you can outsource the problem or the liability. Um, you just outsource the, the the scope on your on your business.